I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be making this, um, the hair grease slash conditioner that I use on me and my daughter's hair. Um, I've been making this for about a year now. So I actually posted a picture on my Facebook page the other day um, of me in the process of making it. And people are wanting to know how I make it and what do I use to make it because it has been a tremendous help for me and my daughter especially because I know you know when babies are first born they be rubbing the back of their head on the uh, cart seats and like anything they can so basically what happened was my daughter developed that bald spot that babies get in the back of their head so where she had little to no hair back there. So I was like, let me make up some conditioner or something that I can use on her hair that's gonna basically grow it back. So that's what I did. And I will insert a picture if I can find one of when it was, when her hair first came out into how it looks now. I don't think I have a picture of how it looked when it first came out, but I definitely insert a picture down below of how it looks now and also you know i re i cut my hair back in april of last year and my hair has grown back with the help of this grease and braids my hair has grown back tremendously so i'm going to keep it this it needs a little tweaking but for the most part right now it helps so first thing i'm going to use hold up i washed this bowl out first thing i'm going to use is this okay pure naturals african shea butter now i know i was told that it's not pure if it has if it doesn't if it has a smell to it so if it doesn't have a smell to it and it's um just has like a smell that you would normally use within stuff then it's the real thing so this absolutely stinks it doesn't really have a smell to it so that's why it stinks so you can, as you can tell, I've been using it, but I'm I'm not gonna make that much because I made some the other day. Um, so I'm gonna pretty much use half of this. And I'm gonna scoop it out into the bowl. This just to be an extra batch, and I normally use it on my daughter hair. I use it on her hair every time I do I do her hair. Um, I'm actually about to use it today because I have to. I took down my hair last night, as you know, in the last. Y'all, we have a bird, and I will and I know y'all just see me jump real hard because I just heard it. <sighs> my heart is beating so fast. <laughs> um. Yeah, I took my hair down last night, and yeah, I'm so paranoid. I'm in our half bathroom by our garage. I'm really just, um, I took my hair down last night. As you know, in the last couple videos, I had some braids in, so I'm going to use this to condition my deep condition my hair before I decide, you know, what other style I'm going to use. Okay, so next I'm going to be using re um organic redefined. Is it unredefined or redefined? I'll insert the picture of the bottle. Um, it's by Simply True. Um, I'll insert the picture of the bottle down below um, because I think I ended up breaking the glass that it came in, so I had to put whatever I could savage, you know, into a bowl. So it's that much in there, but I'm going to use this much. I'm not really sure. I say this is like a tablespoon a little bit more than a tablespoon and i'm gonna put it in there um i also have some tea tree oil now tea tree oil is the best it helps um open up your hair follicles and things like that to you can massage it within your scalp and your hair and things like that it opens up your hair follicles that helps promote hair growth so i'm gonna put um because i'm using like three different time three different types of oils i'm only gonna put six drops in here okay 
okay so that's the tea tree oil and i also had some mono mono oil it's an anti-breakage oil fusion and it's not that much in there because i've been using it so i'm going to be putting oh i didn't show you it's not that much in there so i'm going to be using pretty much pouring the rest of it in there okay y'all this when i say this oil this um hair grease or whatever you want to call it is the bomb it like literally has me and my daughter her growing really good and this is cream of nature with argan oil from morocco day and night hair and scalp conditioner this is the conditioner that i put in the um the mixture that i make because like this for one is the smell and two when i was just using this by myself um i would put it on my scalp like after i wash my hair or something and it would have my hair feeling so good so this is a tablespoon so i'm going to put a tablespoon of it in here and i'm working on you know tweaking it a little bit like pretty much working to add more more oils and i know i think the first time i ever made it i added um peppermint oil because you know peppermint oil is like a thing that like relaxes your scalp and helps promote her her growth as well oh and this is uh Bertoli extra light olive oil so i also use olive oil as well i got this big old bottle because i use olive oil a lot so i'm going to put a tablespoon of that as well well actually i'm going to put half of a tablespoon because you don't want it to be too oily so i'm going to take my whisk and i got to break it down because the shea the shea butter is actually you know kind of hard so you have to the shea butter and the um, coconut oil so you have to I put it in the, the blender sometimes, but it's hard to get the smell of tea tree oil out of things. So I'm just gonna be using. Actually, I'm about to use this fork right here. So this, this stuff is getting stuck in the, in the whisk. So, y'all. Yeah. This stuff does wonders for me and my daughter. As I said, I will insert pictures if I can find them on how. Well, I have the pictures for my hair on how it looked when I first got it cut and how it looks now. But as far as my daughter, I have a picture of now. I'm not sure about a picture of me. Mind you, she's about to be two, so she has pretty long hair for her to only be one. Basically, you mix it together, and it looks like this because I didn't want it to be soupy. I wanted something that was kind of thick to where, you know, you could massage it in your hands and rub it through your hair and massage it in your scalp. Because if it's too oily, that mean you know, when you put too much oil or something in your hair, your hair will uh, be all greasy and stuff. I don't like that. Yeah, so. It's coming along together. And it's not going to have a smell to it. Um, I know... I know I prefer to use things that has a good smell to it because I don't want to walk around with my hair smelling stinky. But this right here, I don't mind. Sometimes I add a little extra tea tree oil to get it that tea tree smell because let's be honest, tea tree smells 
amazing. Teacher oil smells amazing. And so, and it's kind of thick, which I like. So, I'm going to show y'all how thick it is. See that? It's really thick, and that's how I like it. I'm actually about to take this brow off my head and dump my hair a little bit, and I'm going to put it in my hair, massage it through my scalp, and put a towel over my head so that it can sit on my head for 30 minutes. I'm all I'm down for a deep treat, deep conditioning, and doing a deep treatment on my hair every time I like have some braids or take it down or something like that. So that's what I'm about to do. I do the same for my daughter's hair as well. Like she has braids now that I'm about to get ready to take down. And deep conditioning to her hair. So that is the way I make the grease and condition conditioner for me and my daughter's hair. Um, if you like more videos on how to how I make things for me pertaining to me and my daughter's hair, comment down below. Um, I also mix up a mixture of oils when I do hot oil treatments on my hair. Have I did one? I did one on my daughter's hair before because I want to make sure that both our hair continues to grow and be healthy. Um, I know when I went to get my hair braided, my cousin's like, girl, what you do to your hair? Your hair is so healthy and so soft. Like, my hair was, like, really bouncy and soft and light at the same time. It didn't feel, like, kind of heavy. It was just light. So, that was today's video. I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to comment. And definitely don't forget to turn on that post notification bell. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.